Hello guys, welcome back. So, yung topic natin ngayon is Common Monomial Factoring or Factoring by GCF. So, ituturo ko sa inyo yung step-by-step na pag-factor. Gamit ang Common Monomial Factoring. So, first example natin, 4x squared minus 12x. So, factor natin siya. Yung first step, pag nagpa-factor tayo gamit ang Common Monomial Factoring is kukunin muna natin yung GCF ng numbers. Okay? So, ipa-factor muna natin itong mga numbers or yung tinatawag na numerical coefficient. Okay? So, factor lang natin yan. This is 4 times 1. 12 is 4 times 3. So, ano yung GCF nila? That is 4. So, ilabas lang natin yung 4. Okay? Na-factor na natin yung uh, numbers. Next naman, yung variable naman. Okay? So, ito yung madaling part. Pag nagpo-factor tayo ng variable, ganito lang siya. So, nakikita nyo, may common silang x. Okay? x squared and x. So, piliin lang natin sa kanila kung nasan yung may lowest exponent. Okay? So, exponent nito is 2. Ito, exponent niya is 1. Okay? Kasi wala siyang number. Pag walang number, automatic 1 yung exponent. So, saan yung may lowest exponent? So, ito, x to the 1 or x. So, ilabas lang natin yung x. Okay? So, ito na yung GCF nila or greatest common monomial factor ng mga terms ng ating polynomial. So, next step lang yan, i-divide lang natin siya sa mga terms. Okay? Para ma-factor na natin siya. So, i-divide lang natin siya isa-isa. Okay? And then, so, ano matitira dito? 4x squared divided by 4x. So, cancel na yung 4. Ito. Subtract lang yung exponent. Loss of exponent lang to. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, x to the 1 na lang matitira. Or x. Now, dito naman. Minus 12x divided by 4x. Cancel na yung x. 12 divided by 4, that is 3. Okay? So, ito na yung uh, factors ng ating polynomial. Ganun lang siya. So, more example tayo. For number 2. 12x cubed y to the fifth minus 20x to the fifth y squared z. So, factor natin siya. First step, again, if a factor muna natin yung numbers. So, 12 is equal to 3 times 4. Then, 20 is 5 times 4. Okay? So, ano yung greatest common factor nila? That is 4. Okay? So, ilabas natin yung 4. So, na-factor na natin yung numbers. Next naman, factor naman natin yung mga variables. So, again, pag nagpo-factor tayo ng variables, uh, tingnan lang natin yung may lowest exponent. So, x muna tayo. So, dito may x cube siya. Dito may x to the fifth. So, saan yung may lowest exponent? That is x cube. So, ilagay lang natin dito x cube. Okay? Then next, y. So, same silang may y y to the fifth and y to the 2, y squared. So, saan yung may lowest exponent? y squared. So, lagi lang natin, y squared. Then, yun lang. So, may z dito pero dito walang z. So, hindi siya common factor. And then, itong nakuha natin GCF nila, or yung greatest common monomial factor, i-divide natin sa mga terms natin. Okay? So, divide natin siya isa-isa. Divided by 4x cubed y squared. Dito divide din tayo ng 4x cubed y squared. So, anong matitira? Uh, 12 divided by 4. That is 3. x cubed divided by x cubed. So, 1 na siya. So, hindi natin nilalagay. y to the fifth divided by y squared. So, subtract lang natin yung exponent. 5 minus 2, that is 3. So, y to the fifth. Okay? So, yung natira dito, 3y cubed na lang. Okay? So, minus, so, dito, ano naman yung matitira? 20 divided by 4. That's 5. Okay? And then, x to the fifth divided by x cubed. Subtract lang yung exponent. 5 minus 3, that is 2. So, x, x to the 2. Then, y squared divided by y squared. That is 1. So, hindi na natin ilagay. Then, z. So, wala namang z sa denominator. Copy lang natin si z. Okay? 
Okay? So, ito na yung factors ng ating polynomial. Okay? And for the last example natin. 27a to the 4th b to the 5th c cubed minus 18a squared b cubed c to the 6th minus 15a to the 6th b squared c. So, mababa siya. Now, factor natin tong polynomial na to. Gapit ang common monomial factor. So, first step, uh, factor muna natin yung mga numbers. So, factor natin. 27 is 3 times 9. 18 is, ano to, 6 times 3. 15 is 5 times 3. So, ano yung greatest common factor nila? That is 3. So, ilabas lang natin si 3. So, ito na yung factors niya. Ito natin ilagay na. And then, sa variables naman tayo. So, start tayo kay A. So, may easy ng tatla na. So, A to the 4th, A squared, and A to the 6th. So, ano yun? Yung may lowest exponent. Pipiliin natin. So, saan dyan? 4, 2, and 6. So, 2 yung may lowest exponent. So, ulagay lang natin dito si 2. Pero, A to the 2. Okay? Then, sabihin naman tayo. B to the fifth, B to the cube, B cube, B cube, and B squared. So, saan dyan yung may lowest exponent? B squared. So, lagay natin si B squared dito. Okay? And lastly, si C. C cube, C to the six and C. So, saan yung may lowest exponent? C. C to the one lang siya eh. Okay? So, nakuha na natin yung uh, common, greatest common monomial factor ng mga terms ng ating polynomial. Next step, divide natin siya sa bawat terms. Yung siya, sa isa dito, 3a squared b squared c. Okay, so, anong matitira dyan pag dinivide natin? Sa so, first term, 27 divide 3, that's 9. Then, a to the 4th divided by a squared. Subtract lang natin yung exponent. 4 minus 2, that is 2. So, a to the 2. Okay? Then, b to the 5th over b squared. Subtract lang again yung exponent. 5 minus 2, that is 3. So, b to the 3. And lastly, yung c natin, c cube over c. 3 minus 1, that is 2. So, c to the power of 2. Okay? And then, minus... So, dito naman tayo kay second term. 18 divided by 3, that is 6. Uh, a squared divided by a squared, so 1. So, hindi na natin sulat kasi 6 times 1 is 6 then. Then, b cubed divided by b squared. 3 minus 2, that is 1. So, b to the 1. Or b. Then, si c naman. c to the 6 over c. 6 minus 1, that is 5. So, c to the 5. Okay? Then minus. Last term natin. 15 divided by 3. That is 5. A to the 6 divided by A squared. So 6 minus 2. That is 4. So A to the 4. And then B squared divided by B squared. That is 1. So wala natin sulat. C over C. That is 1. So wala natin sulat. So ito na. So, ito na yung final answer natin. So, ito na yung factors ng ating polynomial. Okay? Please comment below kung nakatulong yung video nito. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video.